Now, the last point is extremely, extremely important and it create lots of confusions for the people. Anyways, whenever we will go for practical, it will give you 100% clarity, but we will understand this point. In the primary key table, we can check the text into logon language. What is our primary key table? If I will show you the example, this is our primary key table. In this table, I can check the text into I, I can check the text into logon language. So many people are confused here. Just now you are saying the text will be into text table. Then how I can check that text into this primary key table? Suppose see, I'm doing control F and I'm just searching for the field MAKTX. What is MAKTX? Material description. There is no such field into Mara table, but still I can check the description into logo language into this particular table. Because MAKT is the text table for Mara. So whatever is the non-key field of MAKT, I can check the values into Mara table into the local language. Suppose simple, simple example. If I will go for go to text table. In your text table, what are the non-key columns? MAKTX and MAKTG. Material description, material description in uppercase. If you see your Mara table, there is no such column here, MAKTX and MAKTG, but I can check MAKTG. But I can check the text into logo language into this primary key table also. There is no need to go to text table. But if you want to check all the text, you need to go to text table. Suppose simple example. Just now I showed you there is no such columns for the description. But in this table, still I can check the text. Whenever we'll do the practical, you will recognize I am passing 3306. I will simply display the material. I will go to next screen. Now, if I will scroll down, you can see we have MAKTX and MAKTG. These columns are not the part of Mara table, but MAKT is the text table of Mara. So the non-key columns, most, most important, non-key field values, I can check into this Mara table. I can check the values, but it should be a text table. Yes, MAKT is a text table. That's why I'm able to see here. These columns are not the part of Mara table, but I can only, only check into logo language. What is the logo language? English. Suppose if I want to check the text of all the languages, if I want to check the text in all the languages, definitely I need to go to text table. If I will go to text table, if I will put, now you can see we have text in all the languages. Now further I will make you clear. Suppose now I will log in into German language. Suppose now you will get more clarity. Suppose I'm logging into German language. I will just go for German. Now, if I will go to Mara table, I'm closing the sessions because at a time one language is allowed. I will go to Mara table. In this Mara table, I will go to 3306 material number. Now, previously the logo language was English. So I was able to check that text into English language. Now the logo language is German. If I will go to next screen. Now, if I will scroll down. 
Yeah, have you seen? I am able to see the text into German language. They are not the fields of Mara table as MAKT is the text table of Mara. So I can see the values. I can see the text in the logo language in primary key table also. If I want to check the text in all the languages, I need to go to text table. If I will go to text table, this is the text table. And here I can check in all the languages. So what is the summary of this particular video? Concept needs to be clear as you will struggle during the practical part. But we will go for 100% clarity during the practical part. Firstly, why we are going for text table? Word itself is saying, whenever we want to store the text into multiple languages, we always go for text table. It is never recommended to store the text into primary key table. Always we have a separate table in which we will store the text. Whenever you have the text table, it is clearly saying, Whenever you want to store the text into multiple languages, it means text table must have a language field plus it has the primary key of your primary table because how you will store the descriptions if you do not have the primary key. Now we will store the descriptions into multiple languages. Now next point, your columns Whatever the columns of your non-key columns, I am specifically using the word non-key columns. Whatever the non-key columns are there for your text table. Suppose here we have non-key columns. It You can check the values of those columns into the primary key table also. But it will be in the logon language. You can check the text into logon language in the primary key table. I will simply add here for the non-key fields of text table so that there will not be any confusion. Just now we checked MAKTX is not in Mara. But we are able to check the text into logon language in Mara itself because MAKT is the, URTA, is the text table of Mara. And if you want to check the text in all the languages, you need to go for text tables. Then I maintained the text into, then I simply created a material in English language. I maintained the text into German. I showed you in MAKT table, we have all the text. You can check in Mara table. If your logon is English, you can check the English language text in Mara. If you have logon language German, you can check the text into German. But primary key table will only only show the text in the logon language. If you want to see all the text, you need to go to text table. But your text table columns are not the, you have not, are not the part of your primary key table. But your text, but for that primary key table, MAKT is the text table. So we can only, only check. These columns are not the part of Mara table. Once I will do the practical in the next video, we will start creating the tables. Then you will get the 100% clarity. The columns will not be in the primary key table, but we can check the data into local language. So that's it in this video. Thank you.